Splitting headache. Oh, oh, where the heck am I? What happened? I remember returning to the brethren just in time for mass. And then we celebrated my being alive and well and drank and drank. And that's all I know. Goes there. It's me, Matthew. Pinnick the fox. What? You don't look like he, Nick. More like a drunken pig. Give me the password. Elster. Correct. Is it really you, he, Nick? Or your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Go wash off a bit, brother. You smell terrible. <laughs> Person. It's locked. Of luck. See?
Oh, such relief. The headache's gone. solve anything there right now. First, I should find out what happened over the last two days. Praised be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. I need to confess, Father. It's been a week since I last confessed. I absolve you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tell me about Nisa, Father. Was it a big battle? You missed a lot, Hinek. God granted us a glorious victory. While it was still dark, the Knights Hospitaller tried to trick us and attacked our encampment. But we knew about their plan in advance and lured them into a trap. Not many of them made it out. We almost captured even the Hospitaller Prior himself. The gates of Nisa opened for us as easily as the gates of heaven would one day. The Silesian nobility escaped like cowards behind the stone ramparts of the new town. And those who tried to defend the old town are now wailing in purgatory, their homes in ashes. Father, you do believe what happened to me while I was gone. For your own good, Hinek, I hope that story is not just another one of your drunken eccentricities. That would be over the top already. But I believe you. The scripture tells us. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. The last struggle may be approaching, and we must be prepared. I shall be going.
screw you. Hey, Robbie. What's the red potion for? The red one? It's for injuries and sickness. It'll get you back onto your feet even if the bells are already tolling for you. What's the green potion for? The green one? It is uh, mostly used by road and bridge menders. When you're about to fall over from exhaustion, you take a swig and it's as if you've been born again. What's the orange potion for? The orange one, that's for those. Those kind of, those kind of problems. Listening to you is like pulling teeth. Well, it's for having the shit. For a shitty mood. We can use that, I'm always angry. That bullshit. Doesn't work. It does work. It's a potion for constipation. And what if I'm not constipated? Then you'll shit your own eyes out. Yeah, watch out for that. I need some kind of ooch. What do you want, brother? You know the rules. Hand over a cat and take what you want. I need a new weapon. Yet again? All right, fine. For one decat, you can choose what suits you best. A mace? Or would you prefer an axe? Or rather, a sword? I need some kind of ooch. What do you want, brother? You know the rules. Hand over a decat and take what you want. Nothing else. Choose one thing. Finally! <laughs> you look terrible! <laughs> what happened last night? I woke up in the meadow behind the camp. It was quite a commotion. Ah, <laughs> uh, did he catch you? I see that you're in one piece. No holes anywhere. Dummy, who are you talking about? Puchala the Pole, dummy. You puked all over his surcoat. What? I threw up on Bison Ed's tunic. He went crimson with rage, pulled out his hunting knife and chased you through the camp. I only know swear words in Polish, but I could understand every word he said. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. He was looking pretty boastful in the morning. He looked like that ox head in his family. <laughs> the women already gave it a rinse. What's worse is he complained to Blazek. What did Bozek have to say about yesterday's scene? When you turn up, they're supposed to give you 20 lashes for drunkenness. Well, thanks a lot. Is it my fault you were drunk as a sailor, and that Blazek holds a grudge against you? So I escaped from the Oubliette, faced the undead and Cachet himself, and in the end my own people beat me up. Your spirits will be pretty damp and down once we go marching. They threatened that they wouldn't even let you ride a horse as punishment. I should confess my sins. Twenty lashes and then trudging along on foot, that might be the end of me. 
You know when we're setting off? Probably tomorrow. We don't know to where yet. That depends on who fails to show up today to pay ransom. The messengers should be here at any moment. What happened when the cave closed behind me? Did you go back to Pukala? We already discussed this yesterday. You really should ease off on the booze a little. I'm sorry. I was happy to be among my own. Fine, I'll tell you again. We galloped back to the others. We reached Petersdorf an hour after you disappeared in the cave. It was already dark. Puchala gave an order to set up camp, start fires and post patrols. Maybe a dozen of us set off back to the cave. We walked all around the forest with torches. We searched, we shouted, but nothing. We kept on going till daybreak. Then Puchala decided to move on without you. We gave Edelstein a wide berth out of caution and burnt down Ziegenhals with Otto. We couldn't search any longer. Blazek was waiting by Prudnik. You did the right thing. I was long gone by then anyway. I hope at least you believe what happened to me. Oh, sure thing, Henek. Well, it's a bit off. Bandits, Koshei, the undead and bewitched miners. But I'm not surprised by anything in this devil's land. Do you know what the mountain where you got stuck in the cave is called? Devil's Mountain, and right next to it is Devil's Rock. Blah. Devil's Land, I say. My dear mother, may she rest in peace, did see the devil once with her own eyes. And I'm telling you, when... Yeah, yeah, please, spare me. I've already heard this story. All right, as you wish. I have to go. Praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever. I heard we were expecting messengers with ransom today. Has anyone arrived yet? Our victory at Nisa hasn't seemed to teach the Silesian nobility a sufficient lesson. The messengers from Duke Ludwig arrived in the morning, but they refused to pay a satisfactory sum. We're expecting the Monsterberg party at any moment. Let's hope that Duke John doesn't hesitate as much to shake his pouch around a bit in order for us to spare his manor. Hmm. I wonder who's coming to negotiate in his name. I shall be going. Locked. Hedek, you're hanging around here with nothing to do. Could I ask you for a favor?
What can I help you with? Messengers from Master You know what a master Brother Blossick is. I don't dare move an inch from my post. With the commission but I got Duke really John thirsty all of a sudden. Council. Could you fetch a little bit of wine for my water skin? That shouldn't be a problem. Ambrose is sending me for a little bit of wine. Mm-hmm. Cheers. God bless. Sorry, Hennick, but you can't pass. Prokop is omitting the messengers now. Hennick, you're hanging around here with nothing to do. Could I ask you for a favor? What can I help you with? You know what a martyr, Brother Blossick is. I don't dare move an inch from my post. But I got really thirsty all of a sudden. Could you fetch a little bit of wine for my water skin? That shouldn't be a problem. Choose one thing. Ambrose is sending me for a little bit of wine. Mm -hmm. ah, screw you. Sorry, Hennick, but you can't pass. Prokop is omitting the messengers now.
Hey, Robbie. Nothing else. Wine, but do not touch the barrel. Cheers. God bless. Sorry, Hennick, but you can't pass. Prokop is emitting the messengers now. Locked. Sorry, Hennick. But you can't pass. Prokop is emitting the messengers now. I'm sorry, Hennick, but the meeting is by invitation only. Hanging around here with nothing to do. Could I ask you for a favor? It just looks that way. I don't have time. Sorry. Oh, never mind then. Sorry, Hennick, but you can't pass. Prokop is. You're hiding around here with nothing to do. Could I ask you for a favor? What can I help you with? You know what a martyr brother Blossick is. I don't dare move an inch from my post. But I got really thirsty all of a sudden. Could you fetch a little bit of wine for my water skin? That shouldn't be a problem. Hey, Robbie.
nothing else. Robbie busy for a moment. What kind of mischief are you trying to start up again, huh? <laughs> Fine. You know I won't stand in the way of some fun. You probably won't tell me why you need that, will you? You guess right. What's this thingy here? What thingy? Let's improve this it a little. This thingy? You mean this? R right here? No, not that. This. I don't know what you want from me, Straw. You're just trying to piss me off again, aren't you? Not at all. I feel like I'm in the mood for something tasty. You know what? Leave me alone. Don't slap me. Cheers. God bless. Kinnock, I need to go to the Luttry urgently. Could you watch things for me for a while? Well, I'll be to help, friend. Noble lady, please tell the Duke that we are honored to receive his gift. Can my lord consider the amount of gold I've handed over a sufficient guarantee of his city staying safe from your men? Upon my honor, no one will come close to the city. But my eyes may not linger everywhere, I'm sure you understand. Now and then, say a troop might stray into neighboring villages. It happens. Once, for instance, I strayed from Poland like that, and now I prefer to stay close to the others. Hush, Dobbs. Please excuse my friend's foul mouth. Wealth will not protect him from God's wrath. Quiet, Blazek. What my brethren are trying to say is that the open arms of true faith would provide the greatest safety guarantee for John of Monsterberg. Tell him to accept the chalice and become one of us. I cannot help you there, preacher. The faith of my lord is too firm. I often witness its firmness myself when I support him during his prayers. It was a pleasure, gentlemen. Now I recognize the voice. Ominous and arrogant. It's her. The woman who ordered the bandits of Rabersburg to kidnap villagers and to execute me. I have to find out more about her. going? What would I even do there? Brother Prokop, I have to talk to you. How did you get in here? 
Where are the guards? Is this that liar and drunkard? He puked on my surcoat, that pig! Catch that rascal. He'll get his twenty lashes as was agreed. That woman leading the Monsterberg messengers. Noble Lady Lilith of Devil's Mountain. She's the one who paid the robber knights at Rabbersburg. She ordered them to kidnap villagers and was gonna have me slain. Is he making something up again? Let us smell his breath, that boozer. Catch that rascal, and he'll get twenty lashes, as was agreed. I'm not making anything up. I couldn't see what she looked like at the time, but I recognized her perfectly by her voice. At first, I wasn't sure. She was playing it nice, but then, when she cut you down to size about the firm faith of her lord... I don't understand what she meant about the firm faith, which she supposedly witnesses. It was immediately clear to me that it's her. When someone sentences you to death without even knowing you, you remember them. Even if everything you've told us was true and Lilith of Devil's Mountain was truly the woman you think she is, what happens at Monsterberg Manor is not our business. If God's laws are violated, it's the business of us all, brother. He's right about that, Procob. And what do you think we should do, Hinnok? I received payment for peace and for Hussite armies to avoid Monsterberg from that woman. I cannot and will not break an honourable oath that I have made. I didn't swear anything. Let me watch their camp. Once they start heading back to town tomorrow, I'll mix in with their crew or hide somewhere. No one will notice me and I'll figure it all out. Under no circumstances. You get a taste of booze and they capture you as a spy. So what? Will they ask for their ransom back? The undead and the black magic, the power of which I witnessed, could represent a threat to Silesia, as well as to the field armies in the entire kingdom. We'll assault Monsterberg and slaughter them. Hush, you hothead. We're not risking anything. She already gave the order to have me killed once. If she catches me, she gets another opportunity to do that. I will claim that I was acting on my own. What an idea. Either we find out what evil against God's laws the people of Monsterberg are committing and punish them by right, or we lose a drunkard. From where I'm standing, that plan only has advantages. Besides, what if he's telling the truth after all, and the dead are returning from their graves? You're neither a scout nor a spy, Hinnock. That's where you're wrong, brother. I took part in a similar mission once, still with Zishka. True. It was among the Adamites, so there was no need to disguise myself. And the good lord endowed me so well that no one even looked in my face. Braggart. He's making things up again. How do you know that, Blazek? Did he not spy at the Adamites? Um, he's not lying about the Adamites. He was there, and he truly proved himself useful. Let him go to the Monsterberg folk, brother. May he find out whether any blasphemy is indeed taking place there, and whether they pose any danger to us. <sighs> All right, Hinnock. Go and act according to your best judgment. But think of God Almighty while you're there, and know that if you are discovered, none of the brethren shall come to your aid. Do not worry, brother. I will not betray your trust. May God direct your steps. Also, find out more about that firm faith of John Monsterberg's. Tomorrow we shall head towards Falkenberg. If you succeed, you will find us there. The Falkenberg Duke, Bernard, didn't send a party to negotiate the ransom. We'll have to talk to him in person then. And let the cannons do the talking. I'm only asking for one thing. Dedicate a prayer to me, brethren. For my success. He should have received his twenty lashes first, as was agreed.
can see their entire camp at a glance, and nothing out of the ordinary seems to be happening. There's nothing for it. I have to get closer. They don't have very many guards posted, and darkness is on my side. Chest won't store in the treasure for God's warriors. They'll be perfectly fine here. <laughs> open they'd drive me all the way to the castle's courtyard not that they'd stop by the first ore house i'll have to get inside the castle on foot but i can't quite stroll through town with a chalice on my chest Franciscans. They're fed from the Hussites in the south. There's more of them than rats here. I hope the rat catcher isn't on their heels. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Helping thy neighbor, that's fine. Be more but couldn't we be helping them way. somewhere else? But I'd rather stay away Hardly. from the cart anyway. The Hussite armies are all around us, burning whatever crosses their path. I got the wind that the Duke paid their ransom. And now no more sneaking around, just doing the thing. So that you wouldn't have to trudge all the way to Vratislav.
What a stroke of luck. Back. Damn Dharma.
ci cu din ce lume din ce rog Well, thank you once again, Peter. You've helped me a lot. I pray you to prosper. Go with God. Summer can't be here what fast the? enough. And I'm in deep shit. Sure he recognized me. I wonder, what's he up to? <coughs> hey you, monk! Or should I say, Hussite? Shh, not so loud. What are you doing snooping around here? Did they send you to spy? You're supposed to carry out some sort of sabotage, aren't you? A fat lot. I'm tracking, tracking this woman. What are you making up now? I promise to kill you if I ever met you again. You'd be shitting in your own nest, lad. You won't believe it, but... You're right. I don't believe you. Have you found your sister yet? Don't provoke me. Or do you know anything about her? I know the name of the woman who kidnapped her. Speak! Get me inside the castle, and you'll find out what you need. And maybe more. I could turn you into the Duke, and you'd confess everything in the torture chamber, heretic. You could. But that bitch who kidnapped your sister stands right by the Duke's side. Yesterday she arrived at our camp at Pachkow. She was negotiating the ransom there, acting in the name of Duke John and the town of Monsterberg. Would you risk her wiggling her bottom in front of him and him not hearing you out? Why are you trying to get into the castle? You didn't believe me when I told you about the undead, the dark magic and the warlocks in front of the Red Mine. Then at least believe the fact that the bitch is seeking my death for no reason. I want to know why. I might even start believing these tales of yours. Oh, getting a hunch too. I'm travelling from the commandery in Little Earls. Someone slaughtered everyone there and stole an ancient artifact from the crypt under the chapel. A powerful artifact. You look as though you've been hiding the Holy Grail there. <laughs> the Holy Spear. Go to hell with such cock and bull stories. How would the Knights Hospital get their hands on the Spear of Destiny? The Commandery used to belong to the Templars. It must have been them who'd hidden it there. All I found was an empty hiding place, and the linen in which it had been wrapped. I have a friend here in Monsterberg who specializes in such things. He confirmed that my assumption must be right. Skeletons, warlocks, the Spear of Destiny, and the noble Lady Lilith of Devil's Mountain. What did you say the woman's name was? Lilith, like that demoness. True. That hasn't occurred to me. If only you saw the godless atrocities committed on her orders. I have, at home, at Reichenstein Castle. I give you my word that I will help you save your sister from her clutches if you help me get inside the castle and find out more about this Lilith. This cowl was enough for me to walk across the town, but I won't get in the palace with it. I'm as inconspicuous as a fox in a hen house. Fine. What's your plan? I'll think of something. Don't think for too long. In the meantime, I'll try to arrange an audience with the Duke, and then I'll wait for you by the chapel.
door is locked. Locked. It's locked. I won't get any further this way. Well, how did it go? You don't even remind me. The earliest the Duke can receive me is next week. I can't wait that long. My sister might be in danger. Time for a backup plan. And what's that? I don't know yet. Suicide is a mortal sin in the eyes of the Lord. I'm not hanging myself. They will let you in, and I'll climb this rope which you will tie in a window. And once we're inside, what then? We'll look around a bit, and if worse comes to worse, we'll admit ourselves for the audience with the Duke. Have you gone mad? They will execute us both! Do you want to save your sister? The merciful Duke will be merciful indeed if we come to him with such urgent matters like the life of a Silesian noblewoman, right? I don't know, but hopefully you are right. I'm going to go find an empty room. There, it worked. Get the rope. Well, begun is half done. Hurrah! Finally! I had a bit of an issue with some dogs. Alright, and now what? The Duke is being guarded by 
four guys, and they're definitely not letting us near him. Don't think I'll let you raise your hand against the Christian, Hussite. Don't worry, I'll leave my weapon by my waist. With me. Hmm, let's see. Damned armor. Wonderful. That's what I call a plan. You Just like right. that, I've turned a traitor. You're fretting like a primitive para. Nothing's happened to anyone. We're just going to talk to the Duke. No doubt you'll be able to explain it to him somehow. God be with me. This is going to be difficult to explain. Ahem, uh, ahem. Fucking hell, what are you doing in here? Don't worry, my duke. Hinek and Lothar, what a surprise. It's not often that the mouse crawls into the cat's lair willingly. <laughs> Ah, 
You might have come at an inconvenient time, but one must seize the opportunity. That's the Lilith woman? The tale is news to me too. Where is my sister, demon? Speak! Oh, 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 poor Anna. She is safe under my protection. Don't worry, Lilitha. When she served her purpose, her sword will join yours in eternity. I may have underestimated you, but now we'll get done with it once and for all. Oh, come on! What the devil can't do, he's gonna send a woman to. Where's the Duke? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Beasts from hell! Demons! Calm down, Duke. She's gone. Gone? How? We chased her away. She flew out the window. Oh, I see. God himself must have sent you to pull me out of those hellish claws. Not so fast, Duke. You owe us some answers. And who the hell might you be? Only the Duke decides what he owes and to whom. Please excuse him, Your Grace. He is merely a simple man without the required manners. But I have... Silence! I've come to you with an urgent matter. 
I truly beg your forgiveness for having put you in an embarrassing situation. I hope that what we did to fend off the demon in your bed shall serve as an apology. So be it then. My thanks to you. My thanks to... Lothar von Reichenstein. When I joined the Order, I asked for your permission to transfer all of the family possessions to my sister. Ah, of course. Lothar von Reichenstein. I'm glad we meet again, even if under such somewhat unfortunate circumstances. The unfortunate circumstances are also the reason for my ill-timed visit. My sister Anna has been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Goodness, who's behind it? That woman... demon. It seems that she's behind it. All the leads point here, to Monsterberg. Oh, what a misfortune. What did I get myself entangled in? Tell me, how might I be able to help you? How did you come to know her? How did she manage to get all the way into your bed? I had no idea what she was. We don't doubt that. <clears throat> Most gracious Duke, please, tell us, where did you get to meet her? What do you know about her? Anything that could possibly help us find my sister? I shall tell you everything I know, of course, but it's not going to be much. A certain priest from Nisa introduced us. Joachim Wein... Uh, Wein... Uh, I can't recall. Weinhardt? Yes, yes, that's him. You know him? I have had the honor. I had some dealings in Nisa and wanted to go to Mass in the Church of the Assumption of Virgin Mary. Their Sunday sermons are famous. She was standing on the steps in front of the church, speaking to the priest. Joachim Weinhardt, as you say. She dropped her handkerchief. Well, fuck me running. The oldest trick... Cut it out. I've got nothing to cut his slimy tongue out with. Could I just beat him to silence instead? By all the saints, be quiet! I picked it up. The priest, of course, recognized me, and he introduced Lady Lilith to me. We had a lot in common. She has nice tits, and you wanted to get your hands on them. Is this a friend of yours? No, Your Grace. He's not. Please continue. What did she tell you about herself? She claimed that she came from Burgundy, and that she was travelling through Celestia to learn more about the local customs. Her husband had had some business dealings here. She had been recently widowed, poor lady. And certainly not for the first time. Your Grace, can you think of where that monster that deceived you so bad could be hiding? I have no idea. Well, knock me down with a feather. She negotiated in your name with our site. Uh, I mean, the Hussites. What are you saying? I know nothing of that. It's as though I've been spellbound since encountering her in Nisa. Everything is like in a haze. Ah, uh, why did God punish me like this? Calm down, Your Grace. We are not accusing you of anything. Well, I'm not so sure about that. What about that Feynard? Where is he now? Weinhard. I saved him when Nissa fell. He could have fled anywhere. In front of the Nisa church, he said that he'd often go to contemplate to the monastery in Brieg. That's where he met Lilith. Apparently, she brought some rare relic to the monastery as a gift. I'll send Feynard to hell if it comes to light that he's had hand in this as well. Lord Reichenstein, humility, fasting, and penance would do your companion a lot of good. Says the guy who fucked the demoness. I'll have you flogged! Please forgive him, Your Grace. He is a man of weak intellect. He is temporarily accompanying me, but will soon be heading back to his brethren and shall never bother you again. Don't make promises you can't keep. Cut it out! I'd really like to cut something, believe me. Be gone now, I have to go to the chapel. To pray and confess. A moment, Your Grace. Have you heard of what happened in Little Earls? A terrible tragedy. I will be praying for your brethren. I'm sure the Hussite heretics will burn in hell for what they did. I was starting to worry that no one would utter this sentence. Beneath the monastery, they hid... Cut it out. Don't interrupt me. Cut it out indeed, young man. We need to cut this she-demon into little pieces. Now say a nice goodbye to his grace. Guards! Catch them! Cut out their tongues and then hang them right away! But I'm a noble! Hey, you! Would you Alarm. rather be beheaded, you idiot? What is going on? Your grace! His grace is involved in all of this, you smart ass. We're getting out of here. Quick! Hold! 
like a bolt of lightning before they can close the gates right behind me and don't let them knock you off the horse hey hey you alarm gods gods there's a sight here Who goes there? Hold! Hold! What are you doing here? Stop! 